Hey, what's going on, Bubulus? And uh, it's Jake here, and we're doing a commentary on a couple things. First, well, first actually, it's my it was my first day of school today. Pretty awesome. Kind of boring because I didn't know where the fuck my friends were. I didn't know like where anyone was, so I pretty much just had to like wander around for a while. And yeah, so first thing I want to talk about is this gameplay. It's a 40 and 4 gameplay on Bog with the 50 caliber rifle. Yes, it's in the COD 4 game, if you didn't know. So, I wanted to talk about Black Ops 2 before I got into my first day of school, because this commentary is a little bit long. So pretty much, Black Ops 2 is going to ruin the community. It really is going to ruin COD. It's going to destroy COD, let me say that. It's going to destroy COD. It's, it's, I think it's going to be really... When you put in the element of air, like air support, meaning you're the controller of air support. Besides Modern Warfare 2, we could control an AC-130, but like you can shoot behind riot shields. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. Who wants to shoot from behind a riot shield? That's probably gonna be the the pussiest, bitchest thing ever. That's gonna be the new juggernaut. It's gonna be hiding behind a riot shield, because that's what I saw in a couple of the gameplays. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I don't know what the rumors are about that, but that's all I've heard. I haven't heard much about Black Ops 2, other than that, Zombies is going to be disgusting. So, the Zombies is going to be disgusting, and that's pretty much... Oh, my dog's in the background, so... Yeah, so pretty much, the Black Ops 2 Zombies is going to be disgusting. Like, it's really going to be probably... the I, uh, Just what I think, because I heard it's going to be like 8 or 10 players, and you might be able to play... Um, differently between like um, what was it uh, the, the four guys in all the other ones it's like I, I forget their names Dempsey and just Mac Macroff maybe not I don't know just Dempsey and a couple other people uh, I think you have an option to play as a girl maybe because in one of my my cousin's poster he got he pre-ordered Black Ops and a poster came with it and it was zombies on the back it was a girl actually holding a zombie's head so you might actually be able to play as a girl I'm not sure maybe they're gonna incorporate a girl into the COD series because that's something we've never seen before. We've never seen a girl um, character or just picture in any of the Call of Duty series. I mean, I believe it's all guys. <coughs> Please crack. It's all guys and everything. It's gonna. It's because I've been talking a lot today and uh, doing group work in school, which is pretty retarded on the first day of school. Okay, so enough about Black Ops. Let's my talk about my first day of school. So pretty much, uh, first period. Well, we have four blocks the whole day, and first block I came in, well, I got off the bus, and I saw some familiar faces, but, um, I just relocated, well, I didn't relocate, but I just moved to this school last year, so I have a lot of friends, but I just don't know everyone, if that makes sense. In my old school, Easton, which was my previous school, I pretty much knew everybody, and maybe not everybody liked me, but I definitely knew a lot more people than I do here, which is in a uh, certain place, can't tell you. But, um, yeah, so I got off the bus, and I went to my block. I called one of my friends, and, um, he, I was just going to meet up with him before I went to class, because, like, I didn't know where anyone was, I didn't know where any of his classes were, because we just got our schedules in, like, the day before something in the mail, and I hadn't really talked to them. So I got in the first block, and I sit down, and I sit down next to someone I knew, so that, that was good. Uh, so I knew a couple people in my first block class, but other than that, I didn't really know anyone. And I kind of just sat there. The teacher gave out some stupid goal rules and guidelines about shit that I don't give a book about. And she managed to do math the first day. It was just pretty weird, I gotta say. And she gave us really easy math. It was just like simple algebra problems that I could just do in my head. And uh, it was a little bit difficult because I, I haven't done any sort of work or math or anything in the past two months or so. I've just been going hard with the games. And it was it was pretty easy, but it was alright. And my first block teacher is pretty uh, HOT, if I might say it so myself. She's pretty HOT, and yeah, hopefully I'll have a good year in that class. Second block is... Hmm. I totally... F oh, actually, here's my schedule. Look at that. So, second block I have gym, that's right. And I know a couple people in there, but they're not in my actual gym class with my teacher because we do all go in we like four classes going to one gym and I know people from the other classes but they're, they're not in my they don't have my teacher that kind of sucks uh, I took like the extreme 
uh, I took the extreme gym, which is pretty much like running miles and different things. Because normal gym is like you just sit around, do nothing, and play ball. Or play like basketball and map ball and just stupid stuff like dodgeball. That's just pointless. I don't really feel like doing Because I got to get in, got to get my stamina up for wrestling season, which is starts in a little while. But um, yeah, so I have gym and then second block. Uh, no, third block, actually. I have global studies. But right before I go to third block, I go to gym, or I go to lunch. And lunch is kind of confusing right now because I don't know when anybody, I don't know when anybody's sitting. I don't really know. I know a couple people in my, my uh, lunch, which I've been sitting with. But other than that, I have no clue who the fuck's in my lunch yet. So after fourth block, or after third block, I, which is history, I go to woodworking, which is pretty much you just make a bunch of shelves and just cool stuff that's pretty interessante. And, um, it, our teacher's pretty much, like, we, we just fuck around all the time, like, you can just curse, do whatever, our teacher doesn't really care, he's a really cool guy, uh, he, the whole time he was talking about his vacation and stuff, um, he's alright, he's just a little bit, um, uh, it's just a little bit boring some, once in a while, so, that class is fun, then I got out, went on my bus, and just, here I am, I got my little, my little sister off the bus, and, um, my first, my dad took me out and I, uh, he let me drive for a little bit down the block. And it's pretty much it. It's pretty much what happened today. I didn't really do much. I woke up at 6 o'clock and it was pretty early, which I didn't really like. But, you know, early is, early is school. School is school, so. And, yeah, black, back to Black Ops 2. I have a few more things to say about that. Black Ops 2 is gonna, let me just keep saying, remind you guys, it's going to ruin... Call of Duty series. It really is going to ruin the series. I think that, when, again, when you incorporate airstrike, like, what the fuck am I saying? Airstrikes. Like, when you incorporate, like, COD 4 had the right deal. They had everything down pat. The guns, the snipers, the golden guns. The only thing I would like to change about COD 4 is that you can make whatever gold, gun you want golden. That would be the only thing that I would change about that game. There's nothing wrong with COD 4. There really isn't. Besides fucking modding and bullshit, there's nothing wrong with it. And... It, it really is annoying when these COD people just keep wanting to go further and further. And, like, where is there an end to making things too, tech, like, too realistic? Like, you need to remember, it is a video game. It's not supposed to be realistic. Like, people are like, oh, but it's a video game. It's not realistic. Well, that's the point of a video game. You need it to be non-realistic. It's your, you know, your enjoyment to go in a different life and play as a character and do what you want to do. I mean, you don't want to sit there and, you know, get shot with a pistol across the map and die in a second, take like 20 seconds to respond. I mean, that's not, it shouldn't be like that. It should be quick, fast paced, um, not as detailed. Like, Modern Warfare 3 was, it was kind of based for MLG players in the competitive side of Call of Duty. That's what I think, just because it was, it just really was centered around that, and it wasn't centered around new players, because, you know, they didn't really, I don't, like, my opinion, this is what I've heard from a bunch of people, that it's not, it's not really centered around new players coming in, but Monofer 3 definitely brought in a lot more players to the community, and definitely something for the OG players, like the, like me, to definitely think about, because, I mean, maybe I'm not that OG, I've been playing since 08, I mean, that's 2008, um, so, yeah, I haven't been sniping that long, or 1v1ing, I've been 1v1ing since like, 09 or whatever, but, yeah, I really think that it's gonna ruin the community, ruin the COD series, and just its legacy, starting from COD 1, all the way to COD 2, COD 3, all the games, COD 4, you know, alright guys, uh, I'll see you later, and hopefully you can like this video, because I spent some time researching Black Ops, and just a couple things I was talking about, and thumbs up for first day of school and how you, or what you did. See you later.